Everyone desires membership in the elite. We, who are superior to everyone else, are willing to do anything, wouldn't you say? It takes time to distinguish ourselves from the crowd and announce our arrival. This is one reason why so many guys believe they are Sigma males, but what does that actually mean? What is a Sigma male? The phrase Sigma male is pretty new, yet it is increasing in popularity rapidly. A Sigma male is a person who deviates from conventional norms and expectations. A follower but not a leader. He is powerful, self-assured, and accomplished. He knows what he desires and actively pursues it. Being a Sigma male has the benefit of not requiring you to follow the crowd. You can be your own person and conduct yourself independently. You need not be concerned about what others think of you. You are completely in charge of your life and make your own decisions. Some people may believe that Sigma males are egocentric or self-centered, but this is not always the case. Sure. Sigma males are confident and self-aware, but they are also giving and sympathetic. They are individuals that are always willing to assist others. Why do so many men believe themselves to be Sigma males? Here are eight of them. Number 1. They are antisocial because of your antisocial behavior. You may consider yourself a Sigma male, yet Sigma males are not at all antisocial. In fact, they like profound conversations and are frequently social. The Sigma males are not antisocial. They dislike small talk, which is an entirely different concept. Small chat is considered meaningless and shallow by Sigma males, who abhor it. They prefer meaningful, in-depth conversations that connect on a deeper level. Again, if you are antisocial and consider yourself to be a Sigma, you have misinterpreted what it means to be a Sigma male, but don't fret. You are not alone. Many males do. This channel contains numerous videos on Sigma males. So be sure to investigate them. If you would like to find out more about this subject. Number 2. They are peculiar. This situation is problematic. Although certain Sigma males may be eccentric, this is not a defining characteristic of the archetype. In reality, many Sigma males are really relatable and grounded. Therefore, if you believe you are a Sigma male because you are odd, you may be mistaken. That's not to suggest there aren't some strange Sigma males out there, because there are. But being odd does not automatically make you a Sigma male. If people find you odd or find it difficult to understand you, this does not make you a Sigma male. True, Sigma males are frequently misunderstood by the typical person, but this is because they perceive the world differently. Not due to their peculiarity. Number 3. They are rule violators. If you enjoy breaking rules for the sake of breaking them and consider yourself a Sigma male, I regret to inform you that you are mistaken. Rule breaking for the sake of rule breaking is immature and juvenile. Not because he is a rebel does a Sigma male breach the rules. He destroys them because he realizes they are obsolete and serve no function. The Sigma males are not completely opposed to rules. They simply do not follow them blindly. Like, Sigma males believe in and adhere to numerous norms, but they also have a healthy skepticism regarding rules. That doesn't make sense. Therefore, if you break the rules for the sake of breaking them, you are not a Sigma male. You may be a juvenile delinquent, but that's an entirely different tale. Number 4. They are solitary. Although being a loner is typical among Sigma males, it is not a must to be a Sigma. Being alone is a given. However, being solitary is distinct. A loner is a person who prefers to be alone, and dislikes being around other people. Sigma males maintain extremely close relationships with their families and friends. However, they are frequently lone wolves in the sense that they do not adhere to societal standards. They do things their own way and march to the beat of their own drum. However, this does not preclude them from enjoying the company of others. Being a loner it will not make you a Sigma male, but you may be one if you enjoy being alone. Sigma males are like their own company and require no external approval. Number 5. They believe they are unique and remarkable. Many men consider themselves Sigma males because they deviate from societal norms. 
They view themselves as distinctive and unique individuals who are distinct from others. While everyone is capable of experiencing this emotion, not everyone is willing to accept it. Sigma males are unique because they are comfortable being unique. You are not a Sigma male if you worry about what others think. Everyone can claim to be indifferent to what others think of them. However, empty words are exactly that, empty. A true Sigma male. He doesn't care and will do things on his own accord. I'm not saying you're not a Sigma male, but if you view this video and still care what others think of you, you might not be as Sigma as you thought. Number 6. They are always correct. If you believe that being a Sigma male means you are always right, then you are incorrect. Sigma males are neither egocentric nor narcissistic, and they have no need to be correct. Each and every time. In reality, they are typically very humble and do not consider themselves superior to others. There are several instances in which the Sigma males are incorrect, and they have no problem with this. They are unafraid to admit when they are wrong and are constantly willing to learn something new. Being omniscient and always correct is not a property of Sigmas. Consider twice before calling yourself a Sigma male, as being one is not synonymous with always being correct. It involves having confidence in who you are. Number 7. They believe they are natural leaders. This is a typical reason why many men believe themselves to be Sigma males. They perceive themselves to be natural leaders who are constantly popular. They are the ones who make things happen, and they have no qualms about taking the lead. There is nothing negative about being a leader. Not everybody is born a leader. If your close friends and family view you as a natural leader, you may be a Sigma male, but remember that Sigma males do not follow the herd. They were the leaders. Therefore, if you continue to follow the crowd, you may not be as much of a leader as you believe. People's attraction to you is an excellent indicator of leadership ability. Do others consider you a leader? Do they seek direction and counsel from you? If you answered yes, you may be a Sigma male. Number 8. They do not care what others think of them because many males do not care what others think. What do others believe about them? They frequently identify as Sigma males. While this is possible, it is not always true. Multiple characteristics describe a Sigma male, not just one. Even if you don't care what other people think of you, that does not necessarily make you a Sigma male. Even while this is an important characteristic of a Sigma male, it is only one among several. Other characteristics comprise a Sigma male. You may not be a Sigma male if, despite not caring what others think of you, you lack self-assurance and don't appreciate being unique. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And do share with your friends so we may continue to create them. To see more videos like this, subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Additionally, make sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.